Have you ever heard of the story of Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, who was the first appointed high priest in the earthly sanctuary that was built? He was the brother of Moses. There's something about this story that we need to get a clearer understanding, particularly in the book of Numbers, chapter 26 and verse 61. We need to understand what is the significance of strange fire. See, the Bible tells us that Nadab and Abihu died when they offered strange fire before the Lord. Now, this may seem quite harsh if we don't understand the story. You see, Nadab and Abihu were Aaron's sons and had stood highest in Israel next to Moses and Aaron. They were in the Lord's service in the Lord's temple, bowing before the Lord's altar. Further, they had been especially honored of the Lord as they were allowed, along with the 70 elders, to behold the glory of the Lord on the mount. So why was their sin so grievous? You see, God desire to teach his people that they must approach his throne with holy reverence and awe. When it came to the worship of God in the ceremonial services of the tabernacle, there was a distinct difference made between the common and the sacred. Nadab and Abihu were careless of that difference, and in a state of partial intoxication, they decided to do as they pleased. Instead of burning incense with sacred fire that God himself had kindled, they transgressed his commandments by using common fire that they themselves had started. God had pronounced a curse upon those who saw no difference between the common and the holy. He requires exact obedience. And this small yet significant sin could not be ignored. Otherwise, all Israel would grow careless and lose sight of the holiness of God and the sacredness of his laws. You see, brothers and sisters, this testimony is a somber warning to us today. The Bible tells us, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and a holy nation, a peculiar people. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. As such, a greater responsibility rests on Christians than on the average unbeliever. The sin of playing with common man-made fire is just as deadly as bowing before the wrong altar. We cannot do this and expect God's blessing. However, because God doesn't instantly strike down the disobedient today as he did in Israel's day, many have grown careless and have lost sight of the danger of mingling the common with the sacred. And many in the Christian world have grown content with building their own man-made fires. Stay tuned for part two. And... Always remember that truth really is stranger than fiction. And no matter how we feel about it, truth always stays true. God bless you, my friends. But it's time 